Hey guys, I am going to do something a little different today. Still art stuff, um, but I'm using a different program than usual. So if you've never seen this, this is Adobe Illustrator. It is honestly what I use almost all the time at my day job. Um, I do graphic design and lots of vector-based illustration, um, which is what all this is, where you're making it out of little points and lines. So I do this all day at work, and then I come home and do more, like, freestyle art, like comics and stuff. Um, but I am making my holiday card, so it is time to do vector-based stuff. And the reason I'm doing vector-based is because I, for one, I think it's really cute. I get to utilize a very cute style at my work and I wanted to try it out here. And I also find it way faster <laughs> than doing um, drawn stuff or like bitmap or painting or anything like that. I find vector much quicker. It's a lot like doing paper craft. At least that's how I kind of look at it. It's kind of a mix between like molding something with clay and paper craft in a digital form or like at least the way I do it. I don't know how other people might work with uh, vector-based stuff. I learned a lot of it just on my own figuring things out. I've only looked at a few other tutorials of people doing it. So yeah, um, the way I do vector stuff is I'll usually put down a shape. So like most vector programs have like pre-made shapes. I mean Photoshop has them as well. Um, but you know, you can put down circles or ellipses. Circles are also called ellipses in uh, these programs. Um, you can put down circles, you can put down rectangles. Um, so I usually start with that, or I will just randomly put down a weird shape freehand using the pen tool. And then from there, I kind of work with all the little, little um, points to make a more defined shape. And that's why it's kind of like working with clay for me. Um, it's like you have this, this pre-made thing and you just need to sculpt it into whatever you need it to be. Fado is eating, um, leaves. I'm in a weird spot today because I'm not recording in our usual recordy spot in our basement. I'm, I'm in my bedroom, so I hope the sound quality is okay. Anyways, so yes, it feels to me a lot like sculpting that way. Um, and it also feels like paper craft. Because it's, it's very similar to, like, taking a piece of paper and cutting things out of it as well. And honestly, I really like the look of paper craft, so I do try to emulate that quite a bit. Where it's, like, layered piece of paper, interesting textures and stuff. This one I didn't go super textured. I went very simplified. And part of the reason I went very, like, simple and fast with this holiday card is because we wanted to mail it out very soon. Um, in fact, we have already mailed it out before ma I'm even recording this video. I did the, the video much in advance and now I'm doing the audio because um, we wanted to get it out to family that is like international or far away from us. So we were like, let's get this out as soon as possible so that it will actually arrive to our, our loved ones in time for, for Christmas. So <laughs> that is why um, I went for a very fast approach. Last year we wanted to do a holiday card, but we didn't get around to it. Just like we got too busy and like we wouldn't have been able to send it out in time. So yeah, this year getting it out early. Um, and I'm just doing the premise that we came up with last year. We just wanted to do something of me and Bones and all our pets to send to our family. If I'd remembered to do this back in November, I probably would have done something more painterly, like something very Nine Point-esque. So maybe next year I'll remember to do these things far in advance. That's something about holidays that I'm really bad with, is I will try, I'll be like, I won't remember the holiday until it is upon us and I'll be like, oh shoot, I need to make art for that. Then I'm too busy or I don't have time to print it. It's a headache, man. Fido, stop eating stuff. Yeah, I really like vector art. It's a very different process from like drawing everything out by hand. It gets rid of a lot of the work. Like, and that isn't to say it isn't hard and you need to know, like you need to know how to make nice art in order to make nice vector art but the tools are just a lot faster and you're not totally reliant on like making everything yourself. You know, you can make perfect circles and perfect squares and stuff, or like it will curve lines for you automatically, things like that, which just make the process a lot faster. Um, I really like the clean look it gives. Everything is very like crisp and fresh. <laughs> I just really like it. Um, it's easy to work with. I learned a lot about color 
by doing vector-based stuff. Um, Because I find when I'm doing, say, paintings, it's very easy to get lost in the craft and, like, putting down lines and making texture and getting all the shapes right. Like, I find I just get so caught up in that stuff that it is very hard to learn all the things, like, including color and composition and stuff. Just because, like, there's so much other stuff that, like, gets in the way of, of... all that. But like working with uh, vector art, it takes away some of that and streams li- and streamlines it a little bit so that I can just focus on making the color look nice and making shapes. And yeah, so that is definitely how I learned how to work with color really nicely. It just strips away an extra layer of like thinky work so you can focus on some of the more fundamental stuff. So I usually start, like I said, by putting down like the major shapes, and I usually don't worry too much about them being perfect. It's like, I don't even worry about the colors being perfect when I first start putting down shapes. Um, I'll just block out like maybe the idea of a pose or like if I'm working on a person, it'll just be like I put down the torso and the head and I figure out kind of what I want like the composition to be or like the pose to be and then I start fleshing in more details. As the piece starts coming together, that is when I start doing the detail work. I mean, I guess I have a similar approach when I'm doing drawing and painting, where like you start with the overall look and then you slowly get closer and closer to the details. I guess that's just how I work. That is just my my process. I start with blocking it all in and then I I go from there. Um, But yeah, but I usually just block out major shapes um, and the major idea. Worry about all the detail stuff later. I also had a lot of trouble picking out a font. That's another thing that I learned a lot about through um, doing graphic design and vector-based stuff is just learning how to pick fonts. I do it a lot for work. So like I get to spend a lot of time just looking at fonts and being like, this one feels good and this one doesn't work. Working with graphic design and vector-based stuff really just, it's just a different kind of art form. It follows a lot of the same rules as like doing drawing and painting, but it's just different. It's a nice refresh. Also, as I was going through this, I wasn't super happy with, like, the style I had gone with. I found, like, I just made the features too small. I was making them look a little bit too much like my my stuff at work, which is very, like, um, business illustration. It's not, like, cute little card illustration. So I, it was looking a little bit too serious and too, um, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel cute enough. It didn't feel like my cute little anime self. Um, So I went in and I made like the eyes bigger and I gave us rosy cheeks and stuff and made us look a little bit more cute and like, uh, I guess like a kid's book style. (laughs) And I I really liked how things looked after I went and did that. That is one problem with uh, working in vector is sometimes I find it hard to see the end result until I make a breakthrough like that. Because when I'm working, say, with uh, drawing, or painting, I have this very detailed sketch that I do, and then I just kind of build on top of it. Whereas with this, it's like I can throw down a sketch, but as soon as I've put all these shapes on top of it, it, I can lose sight of it, Um, or the shapes might not behave the way I kind of wanted them to. So I do find it's a very organic process of like putting down a whole bunch of stuff and then messing with it, and then, you know, maybe I'll delete some of it or start over. It's it's very organic, and it kind of comes in waves for me. And I know I probably could just sit down and do a really detailed sketch and just slowly work on the details from there but like I don't know it's just I've tried doing that and it just makes really stiff work I I I like my process (laughs) but overall I'm very happy with how this turned out I like how I drew all my pets I haven't drawn a lot of them before especially not Al our lizard who's sitting on my head he really gets drawn I I've drawn Madoka our big black dog quite a few times Um, I've got a a good feel for her. I've drawn Fado, our little dog, but I haven't drawn our cats too much. So this was really nice. It's really just fun to draw my pets. (laughs) It's really fun to just capture their essence in a little illustration. And I'm very excited to see how our families react to seeing this. (laughs) Because they know that we, we live in a zoo and I hope they think that it's very cute. They don't say, Ursula, your art is terrible. Ooh. I shouldn't say that because Bones' mom watches these. <laughs> and she's going to be like, oh no, Ursula, your art is good because she's a sweet mom. <laughs> also, she shouldn't be watching this because 
her card might not have gotten to her yet. So if you're watching this, Kim, you better heckin' check your mail. <laughs> See if you got the card. So yeah, um, we also got these printed with Vistaprint. This is not a sponsored video <laughs> at all, um, but we just wanted a really quick uh, print job and to send it out because again we were really worried about like things not getting to people in time so we got them printed through there they showed up really fast we printed them on linen paper which is a lot like thicker and it's got a bit of a texture to it and then we sent them off bones did handmade envelopes because we didn't get any envelopes i don't know if we didn't order them or if they weren't sent i haven't checked but either way we got envelopes made and they're really cute and we sent them out all is well. First year having a holiday card. So if you want to give a gift to your fam and your friends, but you don't have too much money, you can just make a little holiday card and order them and send them off. Um, you can even hand deliver them if you don't want to deal with like buying stamps and stuff. Or you can print them at home too. If you have printer paper, you can just print off cute little cards for people. Um, it's always nice to like receive something that's like handmade and it just makes the card a little extra special and you can draw your cute little animals. Also, if you've never tried like vector-based art, give it a shot. You might like it more than, you know, having to handle every single little thing when you're doing um, hand-drawn stuff. I find it's just a nice little refresh to focus on more like the design fundamentals and it's really fun. You make quick art. Um, it makes your art feel very crisp and uh, sleek. <laughs> I mean, for me, that's a big deal because if you've looked at my art, it is very, it's very fluid and full of mo movement. However, it is messy as all heck. So it's really nice to just have something that cleans up my art as I go. I highly recommend it. I think that's all I have for today. Stay frosty, my friends. We are also still doing our raffle where you can win some comic books from me and Bones. All you have to do is draw some holiday themed art, send it into us, and we will randomly draw a few winners on December 10th. Um, you, we also have a Discord. You can check out all the rules there. There should be a link in the description, I hope. Um, and if you're like, heck, I don't want to wait for a raffle, we also have our store in our description. So you can also check out our, all our books there. That is all I have. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!